I wanted to also get your uh, insight into the use of weapons and how the different weapons help you with your uh, empty hand forms. Yes, yeah, so when you're learning, let's say, the straight sword, the gen, it's a double-edged sword, um, the idea is that you're extending your chi into your weapon or your intention into the sword. And as you do it, you're using whole body movement. Everything connects to the sword. So in that way, it should transfer over into your empty hands that you're able to extend your chi into other objects, your intention beyond yourself. And you should be having a whole body connection.
So um, with the weapons, they build a certain quality within the body or they have certain um, aspects in Tai Chi that are pretty important. Can you talk a little bit about some okay. of those? The Jen normally is, uh, the energy is more like a dragon. It's very agile. Uh, it learn about how you propagate the energy from your body all the way to the tip of the weapon, the Jen. So Jen a lot softer, faster, and doing slicing, doing all the wrist movement, and, and versus to other um, weapons. So okay. one of the movies we always see is protect the knees. Very good. So okay. the Tao, um, what type of qualities does it build? The Tao are different from the Jen. Tao is basically a lot more faster and hot. And energy is not like the Jen that you are ripping your wrist. Because Tao is a lot more heavier weapons. So you want to lock your wrist. And, and instead of like Jen, you're slicing. The slicing that use a lot more Yeah. in the warfare in the old day. Thou and spirit are the two most common weapons in the warfare in the old day. Okay, good. Thank you. Um, with the, the spear, uh, Ku Jeff always talks about the spear building up the Pung energy. So when you're doing an overhead block, it, everything relaxes down into the ground. So that if you receive energy, it should travel down into the ground and you build up the Pung energy through that. It also teaches a coordination of hand-eye coordination, which always helps empty hand, and learning to step and deliver power. So as you're stepping with the weapon, the feet are leading the waist and the feet leads the power. So that's that's uh, one of the ways it can transfer into the empty hand as you're stepping and delivering the power with the right. High level thrust. Swing, curl, and curl. Middle level thrust. Green dragon presents claw. Forward and thrust. Ground sweeping. Turning here. To the rear. Forward two blocks. 
left block, right block, step back, step forward, marshal flower, tie gong goes fishing. Count the horse, back across. And the Kwan Dao, which I also do, is uh, the same thing. It's just deliver, learning to deliver power from the legs out to the weapon, learning the hand-eye coordination. And because the Kwan Dao is heavy, it teaches you to deal with the uh, amount of force in a, in a smooth way, not, not clumsy effort. Yeah. Kwan Dao is a long weapon, so we always wanted to take the advantage, advantage of the long weapon people in a long distance. And like you're riding horses, and it gets a whole body movement. Not a whole body. You almost like have to flow with the foe because Kwan Dao is a very heavy weapon. Mm -hmm. You cannot just muscle it. Right. So if the quality are very different, moving your whole body, moving your dantel. Mm -hmm. Almost like the speed, but it's heavy. Right.